This is the UV5R H Pro. I've literally just got the radio myself, so I'm still figuring stuff out. Um, this radio is the kind of older brother to the UV5R, which you've probably all kind of seen and owned in a way if you're into the ham radio or you're just getting started. Um, it's quite, quite, quite a big upgrade. It's, it's got a bigger screen, it's taller, and it's just all round a bit more chunkier. So um, I'm just going to go through it as, as a complete beginner because I'm just learning it myself. Um, I've just bought one. So if you don't know where to start, then we'll learn together. So the first thing here is to turn the radio on. I'm just going to twist this orange button. And welcome. Frequency mode. And you can see that it's going to welcome you and straight away it's going to put you into frequency mode. Um, if we want to get into um, channel mode, so there's two modes on this radio. There's frequency mode and there's also you press this orange button. Channel mode. That'll take you to channel mode, which is where you can kind of save your frequencies you can go back to. So for now, we're just going to stay in frequency mode. Frequency mode. We're going to be looking at a common frequency in the UK. One, four, five, five, zero, zero. And that's put me into this frequency. Um, so you might hear something, you might not. There is a volume dial here on the smaller UV5R. There, there is no... There is no volume dial, so you just got to turn the dial, the on and off dial to kind of control the, the volume there. But on this UV5RH Pro, um, you, you might also have the UV5R, not the Pro version. So you can cover that in another video about the differences between the standard and the Pro. So we can see the volume dial here. I can turn the volume up or I can turn the volume down. So let's go through some buttons real quick. So we've got the push to talk button. This is the big button on the side. Um, only use this if you have a ham radio license. So it's what you're going to press when you start transmitting. So you just press it and you start talking just like a normal walkie talkie. You've also got the AB button. So just here, AB button. This switches between uh, your, your bottom line and your top line. So if you press that goes to a B band, and you press it again. It takes you back to the A band. So we're just gonna do a quick recap. So we've got channel mode, channel mode frequency mode, frequency mode, B band, and back to the A band. So let's go into the settings. So we've got uh, the menu button, which would be menu. this green one here. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can save a frequency to our memory. So we're gonna go on to channel mode, frequency, frequency mode, um, channel mode. We're actually gonna go back into channel mode. We're gonna find Five, what channel we four, wanna go to. Three, two, one. So let's go to channel one, and it says four five two one two five. But we wanna change that to our own frequency. So we're gonna go from channel one to menu the green button menu we're going to go down to program channel we're going to go to frequency and we're going to type in the channel that we want which is four five five zero zero and we're going to press the green button again to confirm and then we'll press the red button to go back back again you can see it says channel one, one, four, five, zero, 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 the five, zero, zero. So we go back to frequency, frequency mode and we can just put in any frequency that we want. And then we think, okay, I want to go back to channel one and I want to get on that frequency that I saved my local repeater to, for example. So we'll press the AB. No, we'll press the VFO button. Channel mode. And straight back to the saved frequency on channel one. So another tip for you guys here is if you hold the AB button, it's gonna mute the bottom channel. So you can just focus in on the top. And if you hold it again, you're gonna go into single screen mode where you can just monitor the VFO channel. And if you press the VFO button, 
you'll be in your single channel mode. Um, and then just to get back to the kind of the dual watch feature, you just hold again and you're back where you first started.